Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide showing a case of chondrosarcoma involving the scapula. So let's uh, orientate ourselves at low magnification first. This is the outline of the bone, the scapula, and we're looking at this pink area, which is the bony cortex. There is a little bit of bone marrow here, and there is ongoing hematopoiesis. These large cells with quite abundant cytoplasm and large nuclei are megakaryocytes. This is the bony cortex, and this is the periosteum. And this is the surrounding skeletal muscle, as well as adipose tissue. So we have distorting the scapula, a very large, somewhat lobulated, bluish tumor mass. And this is the region of the chondrosarcoma, or a malignant cartilage-producing tumor. This tumor is composed of neoplastic chondrocytes within the lacunae, surrounded by this bluish chondroid matrix. And you can see that in this area, it is actually invading through the bony cortex, but it is not quite invading through the periosteum yet. The cellularity is quite variable. We can see that in some areas, the cellularity is not so high, for example here, and in other areas, the cellularity is higher, for example here. Over in this region, we can see that this cartilage tumour almost surrounds this little island of bone, and this kind of growth pattern is an indication of malignancy, and it is known as permeation of the bone. In this area, we also see another atypical feature, which is that of a binucleated chondrocyte. There is some variability in the appearance of the nuclei. Some of the cells are much larger and other cells are much smaller. Chondrosarcomas are graded according to cellularity, mitotic counts, as well as the degree of nuclear pleomorphism. Hence, in summary, this is an example of a chondrosarcoma, which is a malignant cartilage-producing tumour, and this is involving the scapula. We have areas of variable cellularity, with some areas showing relatively high cellularity, and other areas showing quite low cellularity, and we have a moderate degree of nuclear pleomorphism throughout the tumour. Thank you.